Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review on the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation and on the Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Finisher. So I've been meaning to do this tutorial for months and um, the reason I'm still going to do it is because I watched a lot of reviews on it and a lot of people actually rave about it. Now a lot of you probably have already watched those reviews. Um, I'm sure you've watched many and you might even have tried the product yourself and formed your own opinion about it. But I still wanted to do my review because I found that a lot of them, the ones that I watched, a lot of people raved about this product and they loved it. And then there was maybe one or two videos I watched that people kind of were neutral about it. They didn't love it. They didn't hate it. So the reason I'm doing my review is because I can tell you right up front that I do not like this product and I will not purchase it again. So here it is. Um, it's about $14.99 or so, something around there. So the packaging is uh, the packaging is pretty nice for this product. I do like the packaging. You know, it has a nicely tight coiled pump. So I use about one pump to uh, spread over my entire face and sometimes I needed a little like a dab of product and I, it, the pump is nice because you won't waste any product. So if you just wanted to get one tiny little dab, then you can do that with this pump. And the pump is not a deal maker or breaker for me when it comes to a foundation. I don't have a problem pouring it out onto my hand. Um, I don't know, it's just not a problem for me, but the pump is really nice. I can say that. I do like it. Um, so this foundation is supposed to give you um, perfected airbrush skin in any light and it has like a luminescence about it. When you look at it in the bottle you can see some sparkle to it and that luminescence, like that pearlescence effect is supposed to um, give you that flawless looking skin in light and I don't like the sparkle about it. Um, it actually really accentuates my flaws like I have acne scars and I also have um, I won't say that my pores are big, but I feel like this product, because of the pearlescence about it, I feel like it really accentuates my flaws. So it accentuates my acne scars and it accentuates my pores. So that is the reason, the main reason why I do not like this foundation. And it also gives off that dewy finish, um, so it is not matte at all. And I personally prefer something that's on the matte side when it comes to a foundation. So. Those are the main reasons why I hate it and it's just, it doesn't do anything nice for my skin. I just think it makes my skin look really bad so I would not purchase this again. Now it says it's complete coverage. I would say this foundation is a medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's a full coverage foundation. Um, you can build it up like you can with any other foundation. However, when I built it up, I found that it just made my flaws, it accentuated my flaws even more than just one thin layer. So, I mean, the foundation is not heavy at all. It is light, but again, it's more of a medium coverage. And it says it's oil-free and fragrance-free. And that is the nice thing about the product, that it is fragrance-free, you know. On color stay, you know, as many of you know, it comes in a bottle like this. And this smells really bad. It smells like paint, basically. And I've got, gotten used to the smell. I don't even use this on a regular basis. Sometimes when I do a tutorial and I'm just going to wash the makeup right off afterwards, that's when I use my Revlon Photo Ready. But this is not my everyday foundation or anything like that. But it does have a nasty odor to it. And the Revlon Photo Ready does not. And it says oil-free. And I only wear oil-free um, foundation, liquid foundations, because I do have an oily skin. So, I don't know, when you put it on, it has that dewy finish, and I think that makes my skin look more oily, so I don't like that about it. I, again, like I said before, I like a matte finish foundation, so I don't have any shine. I don't like any shine to my face at all. It also has an SPF 20, which is, you know, a good thing to protect your skin from the sun. Um, what else can I say about this product? Um, after using this foundation and taking some pictures with it on, it uh, did reflect the light, that pearlescence about it did reflect the light and it makes you look like a little bit wider in pictures. So I don't like that about the product either. Overall, I just don't like it. I don't like that it accentuates my flaws and I don't like the dewy finish about it. So, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has different skin and it just didn't work for me. So, I don't know. You just might have to try it yourself to find that out. But... I think I have quite a bit of product left. I probably have more than half left. I don't know if anybody wants to purchase this from me. I can sell it for really, really cheap, like 
four dollars or something I don't know cuz I can tell you right now that I'm not going to use the rest of the product I just don't like it I've tr I tried it like over two months of time and off and on because I just didn't like it so I would go back to my old foundation and then I would try using it again and I still didn't like it so unfortunately I didn't like that product but I know a lot of other people do I think if you have really nice flawless skin really smooth baby butt skin then I think it might work for you but if you kind of have scars and like acne or big pores then I don't think I wouldn't recommend that product for you at all so that's pretty much it for the foundation and just real quick I'm gonna talk about the Revlon Photo Ready powder and this one is in fair light and I don't like the big packaging of these they're pretty big to fit in your purse um, it comes with this brush which I would never use I just use my kabuki brush in my purse my retractable kabuki brush so anyway I have nothing to say bad I have nothing bad to say about the powder and it just says it's perfected airbrush skin in any light covers flaws and illuminate um, eliminate shine and it does help with the dewiness um, because it doesn't have any of the shimmer to it so I have nothing bad to say about the powder at all okay so I'm moving on to the review for the translucent finisher so here it is it's in the silver packaging same type of packaging as the powder it's really big I don't like it. it comes with the brush so the translucent finisher I do not like it at all it has a lot of shimmer to it it has a lot of gold undertones and I thought when I put it on it made me look really really white and on top of that I don't like the shimmer and I for the foundation and for the translucent finisher some people said that they can't, couldn't see the shimmer, but I can definitely see it. If you look in a magnified mirror, you can definitely see it. Um, just a little gold reflex all over. And so I wouldn't recommend this, again, to anybody with, um, you know, big pores, acne scars, and any other scars, or acne. Um, but if you have a nice, flawless skin, this might work for you. So that's pretty much it. It's kind of a short, fast review. If I missed anything, please let me know. Just put your comments, questions below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. So thanks so much for watching again, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.